what's up guys this is uh john with malevolent um here yesterday we just had a uh, tournament for a uh, zeus um and i managed to go undefeated 5-0 with uh dragon link um and since dragon link is probably the best deck of the format it's it's kind of looking like that uh is the way that it is um we decided to go ahead and bring you my profile even though it's, it's pretty standard but i think we'd be remiss if we didn't at least show you guys one Dragon Link profile because it's pretty much the best deck to format. Um, real quick, my matchups were uh, two Dragon Links, um, a Zoo Eldritch, a Dinosaur, and a Sky Striker. So besides the Sky Striker, which is kind of rogue now, um, pretty standard like meta um, local. So yeah, let's just get into the deck. All right, so first off for the main deck, um, playing Triple Tracer, uh, Double Rocket Synchron, a recharger and an abs router. This is like your rocket package. Um, some people have cut this down to one and they play like another level four, like silver rocket, magna rocket, whatever. Um, I really like these in the grind game because past turn one, you can just normal summon them, bring back abs router and make um, a level eight and search another rocket. So it's pretty strong. And without abomination and stuff, I don't really trigger the rocket's destruction effects that much. Um, and then you can't go wrong with three tracer. It's like, uh, one you really want to open or get off quick launch. Um, I play three Dragon Maid. Um, this I could see playing only two of, but uh, three just ensures that I pretty much open it. It's another card that like, when I'm doing my opening combo, I want to make sure that I have access to this. And so I'll sometimes search it off of uh, LP if I don't. So like opening it just lets me LP for Brotar or whatever. Um, other generic dragons. This deck is kind of just like a dragon toolbox. So I'm playing all these, um, and the Brotar. Um, some people play more safer. Uh, it's, it's okay to play more than one, but um, I'm just playing one so that when I combo, I can get it off LP if I want access to like the baby Chaos Dragons or I want Levianer back. Um, uh, some people also play more black metal, but at that point you're getting more into the range of like normal summoning it. But again, I just want the option to be able to go into it off of uh, LP. Red MD is really important because uh, a lot of times to play around Nibiru, what you do is before you try and make LP plays, you make Heretic Seals up top. So if you get to the point where you have LP Seals and another Link 1, that's when they'll Nibiru you more often than not. And with Red MD in your deck, you can just fetch the Red MD with seals, bring back another dragon, and make another seals so that you're not dead in the water on their turn. And you don't have to have any other extenders. Um, for hand traps, I just play three Tazme and three Nibiru. Um, the reason for this is that really the only deck I was scared of, like not being able to play through their board, was um, the Dragon Link Mirror. And so with this, I basically have just a lot of chances to see Nibiru to Nibiru their board, make it a little softer for. Uh, when I'm trying to play through it. You Phantasme when they have the three Link monsters, so you draw four cards. So with that, it's like a very high chance that you'll hit Nibiru. Or not not super high, but um, you're seeing nine cards at that point. So it's like a decently high chance you'll see Nibiru. Um, spells, three Chaos Space, three Talents, three Guard Dragon, and three Quick Launch. Quick Launch, summoning from deck that's not once a turn, pretty self-explanatory. Guard Dragon is a very insane card in this deck because it's almost like two extenders because you bring back a dragon and then also you get to move uh, one of your monsters. So you can make LP and then move it to another point to make uh, your need for another like Dragon Link monster uh, non-existent. So this card's very insane. Chaos Space gets you into your baby dragons or Levianaire. And then Talents for when you're trying to play through hand traps. I find myself a lot of times not even needing to draw with this card because a lot of times you get hand trapped and you still have more gas and you can just rip a card out of their hand and ensure that uh, the rest of your plays go through. And we have the two field spells, which are like kind of bricks, not really bricks, but like you'd rather search them than draw them. Then traps, I'm just playing two tidying. Uh, the whole point of the Dragon Maid engine, it's a trap card that is like a compulse essentially. Um, and then you can also banish it from grave to bring back a Dragon Maid. You play two, uh, I might play three in the future, but you need to play at least two because drawing this card is an extender with Dragon Ravine because you can play the Ravine, discard this, and send the Dragon Maid monster, and then use this to immediately bring back the Dragon Maid and search your second copy. 
So if you played one, it would be more of a dead draw. Um, extra deck, three striker, very important in the grind game to have three because it can essentially turn into a reborn for any dark monster with uh, your striker dragon or your um, recharger. Then LP, Pisty, Romulus, uh, Double Seals, Delindrius, Quad Boral. I'm playing Access Code, um, Boral Sword, and the three Synchros. Um, obviously, Hot Red is there for you go into this, essentially draw a card, mill some more cards, um, and then you Synchro into this, and then you have the Chaos Ruler engraved for next turn, usually. Um, side deck. Three Droll, three Lancia, three Dark Ruler, three Twin Twister, three Intact Spell. So all three of's. Um, I'll talk about this card really quick. So I think like Anti Spell itself is pretty straightforward, but you might be wondering why I'm not playing uh, Imperial Order instead of one of these. And the reason for that is that in a deck that's this fast and like powerful compared to the rest of the field, I don't really care if my Imperial Order actually negates one of their cards or not. Like, uh, if I just flip this standby phase and they have to set all their spells and not be able to use them, then when it comes back to my turn, I'm gonna win. Like, I don't I don't care if their shit all fusion is set or if it's in graveyard, as long as they're not using it. So, uh, also this card plays around Super Poly better than Order does, because um, a lot of times if you end on uh, Savage or Hot Red plus Seals, they can't Super Poly that into everything, or into anything that's not Starving Venom, because it's a light and a dark. And so if you flip this standby, then they don't have an opportunity to set or summon a monster and then super poly you. But if you have order, you would have to flip it standby anyway to play around that. And then it's just significantly worse because you can't use cards like boot sector when it becomes your turn again. So that's why I'm playing this. Uh, twin, I'm playing it over cosmic to play into Lancia less, but then you want a quick play spell and trap removal over like lightning storm or feather duster because you want to be able to do it during standby phase to play around uh, should all schism or um, the prank kids fusion spell and usually just hitting two back row is enough so uh, I'm fine with that three dark ruler for pretty much everything uh, when you're going second um, the Lancias and drolls uh, I like droll against basically everything besides Zuel Lich it's a little iffy but um, in the mirror it's great against invoke decks it's great you just respond to their meltdown with it and they can't summon the Alistair um, or they can't search with the Alistair at least. Uh, against Dinosaur, really good. They Fossil Dig for Ovi Raptor, let's say, and you can just play this. And they can't uh, search with the Ovi. Or if they like summon Ovi and search, and then you draw, then they can't do uh, Archosaur plays. So that's a really strong card. The Lancia is pretty much just for Invoke decks and Dinosaur. Um, it seems like a common misconception that people think this card is really good against dragons. I don't think that's necessarily the case because unless their hand's really specific where their only extender or like the extenders that they need is just the baby dragons, then this card doesn't do a whole lot. Like if they chaos space for a baby dragon and you lance you there, like it's gonna be all right. But there have been so many times, so many games where my opponent just lances and I never even intended to banish at all and I just continue with my combo and they just neg the card for free so um, I don't side this personally against dragons but um, it's there if you want to uh, so yeah uh, thanks a lot guys um, that's the deck um, also shout out uh, to our new sponsor for malevolent which is uh, aerospace gaming um, new partner. Uh, I think we're going to link the Instagram for that down uh, in the description. So check him out. Um, and yeah, happy to have him on board. And thanks a lot for watching, guys.